Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Monterey on Tonight. This is our Christmas show because we won't be here next week and we won't be here on New Year's either. We're going to take two weeks off. This is show number 68. Wow. And wow. sitting next to me is my co-host for tonight, and I've been practicing this all day, Nicole Truskowski. Very good. Did I do good? Yes. That's a tough one. Usually what I do, Nicole, is when it's a tough name like that, I say, and this is Nicole, and then they say the name. Ah. Ah. But see, tonight I was brave. You were brave. I was brave. And I got it. Yay. Yay. (laughs) Anyway, we're going to have a great show tonight because we've got Christmas music. I don't know whether you watched last week. We had Christmas music. But tonight we have Rod Stewart. My fave. Is he? I like him. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Great, great, great. And this is one that he did. Um, where did he do this? Oh, at Sterling Castle. Wow. Christmas Live at Sterling wow. Castle a few years ago. So it's kind of a neat show. And we're going to have Santa on the show tonight. Wow. Is he bringing me a present? I Maybe. <laughs> if you stick around, he may have something for you. Santa is going to be calling us at 645 from the North Pole tonight. And you got to stay tuned for him because he is a great Santa. I really had to look far and wide to find this particular Santa Claus. And this particular Santa Claus is going to come back in February as his real person. Wow. He's going to come out of his disguise as Santa and he's going to be Ed Dunn. (laughs) Perfect. And he is one of the best Santas you'll ever meet. We've got a whole story about him. Wow. Um, He's from Fresno. He's from my old hometown. So you're going to meet Santa. Santa. Wow. And then you can ask Santa, you know, what you want. Yes, what you want for Christmas. Yeah. Have you got something in mind? Oh, yeah. Give me a little, (laughs) just give me a hint. What, what, What kind of gifts do you like for Christmas? Oh, I, I don't want a gift. I want him to send me, oh. uh, you know. Send you something special? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, Nicole, Rachel, will you put that sign up on the screen again about Nicole for me? All right. See what it says? Realtor. <laughs> but she's not just any realtor. Nicole is a realtor to the stars. <laughs> Who told you that? Uh, I know it. (laughs) And we're going to talk about that tonight. How you're a realtor to the stars. And you're the only realtor to the stars that I know here in this market. Well, I've been blessed. Yes, Yes. you have. Yes, you have. Very blessed and had the opportunity to represent some pretty amazing sales. When you hear, stay tuned tonight, when you hear about this lady's work in this market, it's going to blow you away. Seriously, it did me when I first met her. I mean, I uh, really, it's true. Oh, thanks. It's true. It happened. It happened. We were at uh, Sly McFly's. Yes, watching the Money Band. We were watching Zoe Alexander yeah. and the Money Band, and she was there, and Julie was there, and and I think I said, uh, "So tell me, what's your claim to fame?" And you said, or no, she said it. Julie's in the studio yeah. too. You, you, you. You'll love Julie, she's too. She's my she, best friend. And she's going to be a co-host. She, she said is. She, uh, she said tonight she was going to be a co-host. So she's going to be on in January, February. Yeah. But Julie's the one that said, oh, well, relative to the stars. <laughs> so you have to stay tuned. Anyway, let's get tonight's show started. Perfect. We're going to start with Rod Stewart. This is really a good concert, a good Christmas concert. And then we're going to be back with Nicole. We're going to kind of kibitz a little bit, talk about some of the things she's up to. And we'll have music and we'll have this great concert, music, Rod Stewart. How can you go wrong? And three guests tonight. Yeah, like it's always. Busy. And Santa Claus. Wow. So stay tuned. Okay, let's go with Rod Stewart, Rachel. All right, that's great. That's Rod Stewart. Very, How do you like that? I love Rod Stewart. Okay, and we got a fan here, folks. <laughs> we got a Rod Stewart fan. How can you not be a Rod Stewart I, fan? You know, I am a Rod Stewart fan. In fact, you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to deviate because I do that a lot. Oh. I can do whatever I want to do on this show. You're the boss. I'm the boss. And Rod sings with a female vocalist backup. I will have to go find that clip. 
but we're going to play it tonight. You're going to, it's terrific. Mm. It is a great, great, and you guys know, because the last time we had Rod Stewart on, I played the clip like three times. Mm. That's how much I like I can't liked wait. It. Yeah, you're going to have a, you're going to, you're going to agree with me. I that will. it's a great Rod Stewart clip. Yeah. yeah. In fact, when I show you, I'm not going to tell you her name right now, but I said, oh my goodness, I'd go across the ocean to meet her. You would. Oh yes, you, wow. you, you're going to see when I All right. when I play that video. Tonight. That's exciting. You bet. Anyway, <laughs> Nicole just kind of shared with me while we were in between Rod Stewart songs that she used to be on television in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yes. And what did you do up there on television? Well, my former life, I was a big fitness Ooh. gal, and so I was the fitness expert. For the city of Edmonton, oh. and I um, would cover anything from golf to tennis to some specific class that you should try out to nutrition. So I was the expert. I used to be the athletic director, um, and I used to also be the fitness trainer to the Edmonton uh -huh. Oilers and the Edmonton Eskimos. Oh my goodness! Party basketball well, you were trainer. you were big time in Edmonton. Edmonton is in Alberta. Correct. Which is next to Quebec, right? No. You have British Columbia. British Columbia. That's what I was thinking. And Alberta. Of. And Alberta. Yeah. And yeah. Edmonton, Alberta is like the big it, city. It's the capital. The capital. The capital of Alberta. Um, Calgary is well known for oil. Yes. But Edmonton is the capital. Okay. I, I've been up, uh, uh, I went to Banff many years yes. ago. And that's a fantastic, beautiful ski resort. Beautiful, gorgeous. And didn't they film the movie The Shining you know, at that hotel? The, at Banff the Banff Springs, Springs Hotel? The Banff Springs Hotel. What a beautiful hotel that it's is. It's gorgeous. If you guys have never been to Canada, that's where you need to go, right? Yeah. Am I right? Oh, Canada's beautiful. The it people be are super friendly. And you know what else, Nicole, that I noticed when I went to the Canadian Rockies? Yes. It makes the American Rockies look like... I know. Am I, I right? Yeah. Well, they're just so magnificent. Oh, they're so grandeur. You know, yeah, it's, oh. it's beautiful, and the air is so clean. You know what a beautiful place to go. Yeah. I would highly recommend if you folks have never been to that part of Canada, that Nicole will tell you mm -hmm. that's one of the most beautiful places in the world. It is. It's really beautiful. I mean, living here now in Carmel. You know, is equally as beautiful. It's a beautiful on place. The Monterey Peninsula. On a Monterey Peninsula, yeah. you can't beat this. It's gorgeous. But if you want a completely different look, true, you go up there to the Canadian Rockies. Yeah, I'm flying there on uh, Christmas Eve. You are. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, that's you know, I found out something I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot on this show. I find out things I didn't know. <laughs> Anyway. I'm going to surprise you. Yeah, you did surprise me. I didn't know you were going there for Christmas. My goodness. Yeah. Anyway, well, you have a wonderful Christmas up there at home, <laughs> Nicole. Yes. Oh, our little Poochie. Oh, Gucci. Gucci. Gucci just barked. You're going to meet Gucci in a little while, too. Gucci is uh, Nicole's New little... puppy. Is it a new puppy? She's 10 months, 9 months old. Oh, my goodness. What a sweetheart she is. She's gorgeous. You'll see her in, in, yeah. in a few minutes. Okay, what we're going to do now All right. So we're going to go back to a little bit more Rod Stewart music, Christmas music Fun. and then we're going to bring in our first guest. Awesome. So that'll give you the opportunity to go out to the green room, have some pizza. Julie, you're welcome to go have some pizza and then you guys will come back after my first guest. Perfect. Alright, so Rachel, have we got another one in the queue? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go see a little bit more Christmas music from Rod Stewart. We were just talking about my next guest at 7.15. Yes, and very guys, impressive. You're very impressive. you got to stay tuned for my second hour guest, Mr. Ben Brown, executive chef from The Lodge at Pebble Beach. The food there is amazing. It is amazing. And all of the restaurants, Nicole. Mm. My favorite's the tap room. Mm. I love the tap room. I like you know Stillwater Cafe. You like Stillwater? I, I love do. Still, well, I like the view out of Stillwater. Yeah. But listen to this one. I went in. Like three, four months ago, five months ago. It was August. And I said, oh, I'd like a cup of artichoke soup. And the waiter said, oh, I'm so sorry. We don't have the artichoke soup anymore. I said, what? <laughs> After 40 years, you don't have the artichoke soup anymore? Oh, no. What happened? He said, well, they decided to change it. Well, who? 
who's in charge here? I didn't know Ben then. Who's in charge here? He said, well, I'll get you the manager. So the manager comes over to the table, very nice young man. He said, I'm very sorry, sir. You know, we've had actually a lot of complaints because everybody loved the artichoke soup. Yum. Yum? Yeah, well, it was my favorite. So when I finally met Ben, because our co-host was his significant other. Oh. I mean, what are the chances of that happening, huh? Kind of like us meeting. <laughs> You're right. I mean, those, those are the kind of things that have been happening to him. That's right. <laughs> So uh, Justine Stock was co-host that night, and Ben came along, and I said, he was sitting right over there where Julie is in the studio. I said, oh, by the way, Ben, what do you do? And he says, um, I'm the executive chef at the Lodge of Pope. Well, me says, ah, you. Artichokes. You're in trouble with me. <laughs> Artichoke soup. He said, oh, Gary, we're bringing it back. <laughs> we had so many complaints. We're bringing it back. We're going to talk about that with him when he's in here. Good. Uh, yeah. You got so to give they, him some Oh, trouble. yeah. I had to give him some trouble, and they're bringing it back. Had a lot of complaints. You know the little things that come with the bill where you can write out, mm -hmm. oh, we had a nice time, and everything was wonderful? They got so many of those. Wow. Where's the artichoke soup? Wow. And, you know, I don't know how many places you've ever been, but that was the only place that I know. That served artichoke soup? Yeah, here on the peninsula. I don't know. Do you know of Maybe anywhere? Maybe in Castroville they might. Well, artichoke I, capital. I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Does anybody know where else you can buy artichoke soup on the Monterey Peninsula besides now it's back at the Lodge of Pebble Beach, Stillwater, Tap Room, maybe downstairs? At the bench. At the bench, yeah. Or the beach club. Right. Because he controls all of that. Yeah. Wow. Have you met Ben before? I have not. You're going to meet him tonight. Yay. And I wonder if Justine's going to come with him. Justine, Yay. are you coming tonight to accompany Ben to the show? She's a pistol. She was a great co-host like you. Great one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to play one more Christmas song, and then we're going to take our 7 o'clock break, and then we're going to come back we're right gonna here we're going to party that, i love that i'm going to use that now we're going to party right here on monterey on tonight with gary morrison nicole truskowski right from sotheby's yes and carmel yes realtor to the stars and you're going to hear about that in the next hour okay take it away rachel more christmas music from rod stewart oh you're back and look who's on the screen with us tonight Gucci. Say hi, hi Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> hi, honey. How are you? Oh, yeah. She loves Gary. Did you get any cookies? Huh? Did you get some cookies? No, she had some sausage from the pizza. Sa oh, <laughs> you had some Mountain Mike's Pizza. Good, good cue. We want to thank Heidi over at Mountain Mike's Pizza for supplying the pizza to our green room. They do it. They've done it all year. And it's so delicious. Isn't it great? It's, Mountain it's, Mike's is It's the best. really some of the best pizza around these parts. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of choices, but Mountain Mike's, I'll tell you, and they deliver it over to us in the studio here, and it's out there for the green room, and you got a bite. I did, and, and Gucci Julie got a bite, some. and Gucci had some, too. And she Hi, loves baby. it. Oh, my goodness, look at this. How long have you had Gucci? She's nine months old. Nine months. Yeah. And I she's a beaver terrier. A beaver terrier. Yeah. So, she's beautiful. Yeah. And she's full grown. So she's like 6.8 oh. pounds. Wow. You have to meet Jojo and Rosie. She would love to. Yeah. They're Gucci Yorkies. Gucci and they're things. sisters. And <laughs> one is three pounds and one is five pounds. Oh, yeah. And they are some smart dogs. These dogs are so smart. She's pretty well behaved is for she? being nine yeah. months old. Yeah, she is. She's, yeah. I mean, for a child. Yeah. She's unbelievable. She's very good. What, now, what are you doing? Gucci, who are you looking at? Are you looking at Auntie? She's looking yeah. at her Are you looking Julie. at Auntie Julie? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I've been browsing over Nicole's bio, and unbelievable lady here. Um, she began her life in an orphanage. No, my parents were. Oh, parents, oh, your father. Yeah, and mother were both. And, oh, adopted. they were. They mm -hmm. were both adopted, mm -hmm. uh, and they were Canadians, right? Well, no. but your mom was born in Belgium right. and taken to Canada during right. World War II, 
where she was also raised by an adoptive family. And then you founded Professional Realty in 1997, a boutique real estate company specializing in luxury estates. Mm -hmm. Was that here? No, it was in the Central Valley, so Sacramento, Lodi, okay. Stockton. Oh, honey, you oh, want to go I back think to Auntie, Auntie yeah, Julie? Yeah, Auntie, we better take we'll her back to, to Auntie. Auntie Julie. Yeah. Anyway, so you founded that uh, professional realty in the Sacramento area? Yes. 1997. Yes. And uh, how did you decide, Nicole, that you were going to be a realtor to the high end to people like Brad Pitt? How did that all happen? Well, my original um, career that I had prior to real estate was actually a fitness expert. And okay. I worked for um, the top fitness facility, training facility in Edmonton. And then I worked with professional athletes. Uh -huh. So because of that, I was very comfortable, you know, working with people that had fame. Yes. Um, yeah. Like say if Rod Stewart was in town, he would come and work out there or any of the gotcha. stars that were performing would come because it was a very private. You weren't put yeah. off by th their celebrity. Well, I, I think what people have to understand is that just because somebody is famous. Yeah doesn't mean that you have to treat them differently right you know they just um you just treat them like you would treat how we are yeah to each like other. we're sitting here talking yeah, to when we met, yeah of course obviously they want a certain level of professionalism sure, and sure. service and a lot of times there's a lot of confidentiality involved absolutely when you're dealing with them right you know so a lot of people i work with we sign confidentiality agreements and i can't disclose who i'm working with uh -huh. you know as a client just as a to client, protect yeah. them yeah but someone told me, I, I just heard this earlier, might have heard it today or tonight, that now, oh, I heard it from David, mm. that Brad's home, mm -hmm. now in the Carmel Highlands, is one of the most highly viewed homes by tourists coming to the peninsula. Yeah, well... Originally, I mean, they, they get as close as they can. Yeah, but there's a lookout point that actually overlooks the Green and Greed house, and it's famous because it's architecturally um, it's all a stone, renowned isn't it? home. Yes, yeah. and it's historically significant. And Mr. Pitt is, you know, loves historic homes. Aha, uh -huh. so now, that's what was the draw to that particular home yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. He kind of collects historical properties. Originally, you know, Everything was done under confidentiality agreements, of but then he did a big spread in the Carmel Magazine. Yes, that he did. was six so that pages. Was like, here, Brad's here, yeah. everyone, so and this is the house. he decided not to keep it a secret yeah, that he yeah, was here yeah. in town. He was here once before when he was married to Jennifer Aniston. They owned a house on Scenic. Uh, I know exactly mm -hmm. uh, where you're talking about, the beautiful house. Yes, and they'd actually stayed at the Green and Green house oh, they as did. a guest. So he knew. And, well, I knew you that he knew. had a passion ah. for that house, and so when I had the pocket listing on it with my business partner, Zach... We extended uh -huh. to his realtor, Jet Ferguson, who um, was his realtor, um, about the house. And you got to Jeff. As to I, Jet. Jet. You got to Jet, as I understand, when you spoke at a seminar for Sotheby's in Southern California. Isn't that how you met Jet? No, no. So you, you're getting that confused with the Betty White. Oh, um, that's the Betty White story. See, she's <laughs> lots of celebrities here. This lady. So so, how did the Brad Pitt thing happen? Well, um, it kind of came out of from selling Betty White's house. Okay. Um, okay. So that happened first. Correct. Okay. The trustees of the um, estate uh, that Mr. Pitt bought had knew, you know, that Zach, my business partner, and I had sold the Betty White uh, house, and it had gotten massive media coverage. Yes. Yes. Twenty million dollars of publicity. Yeah. Publicity. Like that's what the value was online, and we had, wow. I think, over two billion views. Two billion, billion views. views from that particular listing. Yeah, it was crazy, crazy, Amazing. and so we got world exposure. Yeah. Um, because it was that. Betty. Yeah, because it was Betty, and Betty's like yeah. everybody's. Did sweetheart. you tell me, or did I hear through the grapevine that that Betty White house actually sold twice? Is that true? It is. Not very many people know that. Well, see now, audience, that's why you're watching this show, because you found out about it right here. <laughs> so um, Zach and myself represented the buyers that bought the Betty White House, as well as being the selling agents. And the buyer that bought it, which I can't disclose because right, right, of NDAs, yeah, right. um, 
have purchased it and had some family situation come up that oh. they were unable to travel oh. here to use the home. And so we actually sold it again off market several weeks later. Didn't even have a listing for it, just sold it. Yeah, and, and Zach and I sold it again. Wow. Wow. Um, represented the buyers, but nobody really knows that. Uh, it's um, such a great story, though. You should write a book. <laughs> really? That's what everyone says. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, come on. How many deals in this real estate market here on the Monterey Peninsula are like the one that she was involved with? I mean, I feel honored to, to have Nicole on this little show. Oh, and I'm here with this TV you know, you've been in TV for I, yeah, for forever. Don't, 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 no, don't say that because then it makes me feel ancient. Well, you don't look ancient. Oh, thank you. you see, <laughs> see how sweet she is? See that? Isn't that wonderful? We're both getting there a little yeah, bit. Well, but you know what? Hey, it's not the age. It's uh, it's the all up attitude. Here. It's the attitude. It's and all the up energy. Here. That's it. The energy. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Anyway, thank you for telling us that story because there you are out there in TV land. You guys learned something tonight you didn't know because of Nicole telling us the story. And I love the way she refers to Brad as Mr. Pitt. Well, I mean, you have to respect when you work with yes. clients. I mean, yeah, we Mr. represented Pitt. the sellers. Jet represented Brad. She was his realtor. And... Um, that's great. Yeah. Though. What a great thing in your yeah. bio. Yeah. Come on. Well. I wish I had something like that in my bio. <laughs> my wonderful friend Julie's always the one that promotes that. <laughs> You're going to meet self- Julie. Julie. She's my cheerleader. She surely is. In fact, I wouldn't have known about Nicole if yeah. it wasn't Julie that told me. And that caught my ear immediately. You're going to meet Julie, too. Um, she's going to she's be. She's the esthetician to the stars. She's the that she is. Yes. She's the esthetician to the stars, mm-hmm. and a great lady. And she is Gucci's auntie. <laughs> <laughs> she's taking care of Gucci. She's taking care of Gucci right now. Yeah. All right, we're going to get back uh, to one more Christmas video from Rod, uh-huh. and then I'll go get my next guest. Perfect. So now you see how it works, right? Yeah. The other one you want, you got me there. Oh, oh, you, you're right. Yes. You're right. You know what? Let's hold that. Can you switch back to a Christmas song right now? And then we'll come back when the other guest is gone and we'll play that special video that I want you to play, Rachel. Can we do that? Yes. Can you go to a music? Uh, I'm back at the normal one that we were in. We're back at Christmas? Yes. Oh, great. Let's go do a Christmas song right now. All right. Coming back here. And that's Amy Bell and Rod Stewart. That was the song. And that was the one that I was talking about earlier. Mm. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and it was really weird uh, because that young lady, of course, that you know that video is a few years ago now mm-hmm. because you can't tell, but uh, she's a big star, uh, Amy Bell. People go go Google Amy Bell. Really, I'm going to Google her after this. Yeah. Well, here's how we do it on this show, <laughs> uh, Surrey. Hey, Surrey. You have to turn your phone on. Oh, oh it's here. Oh, yeah. it hey, Surrey, uh, who is Amy Bell the singer? Amy Bell is a Scottish singer. She is best known for her duet with Rod Stewart on I Don't Want to Talk About It during his concert at the Albert Hall in October 2004. There you are. You, you got anything more? <laughs> Surrey, is there anything more? Oh, you do have something more. Okay, look at that. See, this is. I know. We're living in. Technology is just. We're living in sci fi world. Yes. And now with all the AI coming out, it's even crazy. They're going to have an AI for me. (laughs) You can get actually your own personal AI assistant. Yes. Yeah. That'll take your calls in your voice, that'll answer the phone, and it's all computered. Yeah. Right? Computerized. Yeah, it's crazy. uh, What's the most interesting thing, Nicole, in your line of work, being in the real estate business Mm -hmm. as a realtor, what's the most amazing thing that's happened to you in your career? Well, I I mean, I think, honestly, um, getting the opportunity to interview for the Betty White Estate Mm. in the 26 or 7 years that I've been in this business was probably one of the biggest things that happened just because Betty White is iconic. I mean, pretty much everyone in the world knew who she was. And we were competing with all the top 
you know, realtors here that have lived here their whole life on the peninsula. And just to be able to sit in front of those people making that decision and then, you know, our team, the Draskowski Friedman team being selected, you know, really took it to the next level. That took us. you all the way up to the top. Well, it, it just gave us an opportunity. Yeah, but I mean, not too many people get those kinds of opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably like when you think about a movie star and they get their break, right? Yeah, for that break. movie. That's right. right. Or we talk about Amy and that song she did with Rod Stewart, yeah, right? right? And then all of a sudden. That made her. Yeah, her career. A superstar. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. So I, now, could we refer to you as a superstar? <laughs> no. <laughs> No. You are. You're a superstar no. with the real estate business. You know, I think that for me, I've just been in it long enough. I know how to take care of But people. isn't it, I mean, when you do deals like you did, isn't it fun for you? I mean, isn't there a great joy that you were able to get that done? Yeah, it, it truly. I, I have to say that, you know, I think when I walked into the Betty White estate, you know, with my team, it you could feel her spirit. You could feel her energy in that in, house. In that home. And I've always admired and loved her. You know? Yeah, everybody did. Yeah, everybody she was did. Almost 100. She made it to 99. I know. Yeah. yeah. And, and my mom knew her, you know, because my mom's house was right down the street. Wow. On Cuesta. Okay. And, and didn't when, you live on the street, too? Yeah. I, we lived across the street yeah. for a while on Ribera. Yeah. Uh, Julianne and I. But what was interesting is I even, because I've been around a while, I knew the man that owned the dirt, the lot. He was from Fresno. That sold it to Betty that White. sold it to and Alan Lund. To Alan and, and Betty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mr. Olson. Small world. Oh, I tell you, it's scary. It is. It, really, it is. <laughs> it it's is. Scary. I, mean, I mean, hey, I knew that lot before that was Betty White and Alan Ledden's house. Yeah. Yeah, it's, crazy. it's just a gorgeous view of Point Lobus out there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Amazing. And it was three levels, wasn't it? It was. And, you know, I think that what, you know, obviously it was her house, but yeah, the location of it was premier. It's in Carmel Meadows, Carmel Meadows. which a lot of people on the peninsula, you know, don't necessarily know where they Carmel don't know Meadows where, and, is. And Ribera Beach. Right. Yeah. And it's a beautiful beach. Oh, it's, it's just gorgeous. And secluded. People don't even know it's there. And there's a little path that walks back there, and you can sit on the bench and look over the whole monastery Point, beach. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Point Lobos. Point Lobos. It's, yeah. it's fabulous. Yeah. Great part of our area here that's kind of hidden and a lot of people don't know. Right. And it's a real walkable little yeah. neighborhood. W w uh, there's been numbers that have been thrown out, and I know you know the numbers. The original listing price was $8 million. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yeah. And then it sold first time mm -hmm. for 10? No, almost uh, 11. 11. Mm -hmm. And then it you sold, again. sold it again? Just for $500,000 okay, less. Okay, for half of the million less. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they went, needed to get out of it, and that's how well, that happened? Well, it was, you know, they she wanted, the, the person that had bought it wanted to, to basically break as close to what she had. Paid get for, her money which back. Was three million yeah. over the original asking. Yes, price. three million over asking. Yeah. So it was. But it was quite, worth it. Oh yeah. It was worth it. It, it was it, a it fabulous a beautiful, house. Beautiful. We had multiple offers. Like we had, like I, don't know, I can't remember seven or nine offers. Wow. So it was very competitive. And the interesting thing on houses like that, they don't have to go get financing. Correct. The people that buy those houses, it's all cash. N yeah, ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. Client base is, is typically cash. cash. I might do one person with a loan a year. One. One. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's what she's doing. <laughs> There's Oh, look at this. Oh, no, that's there, my website. There it is. There you are. And how many years in the business? I think now? I'm going on 27 years. And how year. many years here in Monterey, I'll be going Carmel. This year, fifteen. On, fifteen years on the here peninsula. on the peninsula. Yeah. yeah so. Wow. Well, if you want to reach local. this lady, and you have a lot of cash, and you want to buy a house, <laughs> let's see. Where's the phone number? Uh, eight three one. Is that two three eight, eight seven, seven four four, four nine. nine? And that's her cell phone. Come on. <laughs> You could call her right now. Say, <laughs> I, I got $10 million and I want to buy a house, Nicole. Yeah, definitely. Or go to estatesofcarmel.com and okay. you can 
check out all the information about the Monterey Peninsula. And I cover- do we have homes in that category now on the market? Are there ten million dollar houses for sale? Oh sure, yes, there there definitely is. Ten, more of the upscale homes are typically in Carmel and in the Pebble Beach area. Okay, so or let me anything s- ocean. Stop, stop, stop. A long time ago, someone told me this, and I and I'm going to. You're the expert. Is the pristine place when people hear of the Monterey Peninsula? Is it Pebble Beach first, and then is it Carmel Highlands second, and then is it Carmel, <clears throat> the little town, the burg? So what, I, what's the order? I would say that it's actually the town of Carmel that attracts a lot of interest. But then with the golf that we have here on the Monterey Peninsula and the big golf events, the AT&T, you know, we had the U.S. Open recently. We have a lot of beautiful coverage, you know, during those events. And then they show all the, you know, beautiful estates that will fall along the coastline and the golf course. And then, of course, Carmel Beach. Right. So the two are pretty tied. Close. Okay. But I also think that when it boils down to where you decide to buy, depends on what you really want. Because in Carmel, the average lot size is only 4,000 yeah, square feet. But, but the people that buy in the town of Carmel, they want to walk from their home right. over to the main street to Ocean and go into the shops and go to their favorite bergs. Yes. And then walk home, right? Isn't Absolutely. that what they like? Yes. They don't have to get in the car. Uh-huh. It, they love it. I mean, so the golden rectangle is the one... You know, I love it's kind that of, golden rectangle. It, it's the most coveted real estate here on the peninsula. Yeah. If you say golden rectangle, everyone kind of knows they where know that what is, it is, which is south of Ocean Avenue down to the beach. You know, that that spot. So real wow. estate in that little section is very expensive. Yeah. You have been so informative tonight. I just love having you as a, my co-host tonight. Well, I'll come Get, back. And you know, would you absolutely invite you back <laughs> because you know why? I learn things from people like Nicole when I, that I didn't know. And that's why I love doing this show, because I'm being educated. Yeah, well, that's the fun. And you're giving back to the community. And I'm doing this. And so we can have you have a platform now. As I told Nicole when we were off camera, this whole link of this show, she can fa- put it on Facebook. She can have it on YouTube. It'll promote her and her business. So. It's so wonderful to have you here tonight. Okay, we're you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to play another Christmas song wonderful. by Rod Stewart, and then we're going to get the phone lines ready for Wendy Brickman, who comes on at 8 o'clock. She calls in every Sunday night on Monterey on Tonight and tells us what's going on on the Monterey Peninsula this coming week. And it's an exciting week. It's it is, Christmas. It is Christmas week. It is exciting week. Are you going to be home for Christmas? Well, I'm flying to British Columbia. To You're spend. going home. Home, yeah, home. Yeah, I'm going home to be with my sister and oh, her kids. Oh, that's great. That's so great. it's going to be lovely. Wonderful. She's going to BC. Do you know where BC is? British Columbia. <laughs> What's the town? A Vernon, BC. Vernon, BC. Is that close to Vancouver? It's a little ways away. Like I fly into Vancouver and then I take a little puddle jumper, puddle jumper. to Vernon. And, yeah. and what's the weather going to be like at Christmas up there? I checked with my sister yesterday and I think it is um, minus four. Uh, <laughs> minus four. But remember, they have the difference between Oh, that's right. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit and Oh, Celsius. okay. Yes. Yeah. They're on the uh, centigrade. So, yes. And we're on a Fahrenheit. Correct. So yeah. what's the what is that in in Fahrenheit? Yeah. Four, what's four? Because zero 32? is zero is thirty two degrees. Zero right? is thirty two. Okay. So, so minus it might four be, be like twenty. Yeah, twenty something. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna take your. It, it's gonna be cool. parka. Yes. Yeah. And your boots. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna dig my boots out and my okay. parka. <laughs> All right. Let's go play uh, a Christmas song by Rod Stewart, uh, Rachel, and then we'll come back with Randy Berkman at eight o'clock. We are back. Back. We were dancing. Monterey on tonight. We were jazzing to so working so hard. <laughs> Footloose. Yeah. That's all about that nice establishment that Michaela Kunster, who was my co host on one of the shows a few shows back, 58, I think. Mm. And that's how I met her father, who was Glenn Campbell's musical director for 35 years and then he was a guest on this show you see how this works it's amazing 
Anyway, Wendy Brickman, my marketing director and associate producer of this show, is on the line. Merry Christmas, Wendy. Merry Christmas. And I want to talk about one of my favorite events in my life. We all have favorite events. This isn't the only favorite event, but can I talk briefly about a favorite event? Yes. Yeah. My favorite, my dad was born in Winnipeg. And he moved to Los Angeles in 1939. Can you imagine? 1939, it was just gorgeous, no traffic. He stayed in Los Angeles and never left. But we would go back to Canada quite a bit because his best friend moved to Vancouver. His best friend's sister got married in Edmonton. We went to Montreal and Quebec. But my favorite memory was going to Expo 67 in Montreal. And you guys are too young to remember that. I, I remember Expo 67. That was the same year there was they did the Monterey Pop Festival in Monterey. Wow. That's right. Did you know that, Wendy? Canada, I, I concur with you and Gary. I want to go back and visit Canada because we've had some great trips and Banff and Lake Louise and Jasper Park and, mm-hmm. and certainly Vancouver. It would be really nice. And I was thinking, can I get a... Can I get be a dual citizen? <laughs> you know what I think we should do, because Wendy. Her dad is from Canada. My dad is from Canada. She just spent a couple of years, and now she's a dual citizen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a way. dual citizen. I'm Canadian and American. She's Canadian and American. Nicole what? is. You know, Wendy, we ought to take a train ride up there. It's a beautiful way to see <laughs> d- drive between British Columbia and Alberta. It's actually really nice. Yeah. They, On the train. The train. Yeah, that's that's a great way to see Canada. You mm-hmm. know, the, the Canadians have a railroad that goes all the way across Canada that puts the United States trains to shame. Yeah, right? It's, it's a great way to actually travel. So great way to see Canada yeah. on the train. Yeah. They're beautiful trains. Yeah. They really are. Okay, Wendy, what's going on? Yeah, but I just have to say that reminds me of a favorite documentary, which I don't think either of you will love, but it was called... Festival Express, and a bunch of people, like a bunch of bands, went to three cities across Canada, and they drank the train dry. (laughs) I can understand that. But the train stops in different places. They could pick up more. (laughs) (laughs) Restock. Scheduled stop. Restock. Like one of those vanity, what do you call those giant bottles of wine? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun movie. Magnum. A magnum. I don't remember who's in it. Ian and Sylvia, Canadian. Okay, let's go back All right. to Monterey. So I didn't find that much about Christmas. I think Christmas is a time to either cook at home or go to the lodge or, you know, Spanish Bay or something like that. Or okay. Buy it. Um, but I did. Tell me what pictures Rachel's finding. Rachel's going to put up whatever it. you sent her. Rachel, put up a picture, and then I'll tell Wendy what it is since the, we have the seven-second delay. delay. Celebrate this K W A N Z A A. How do you say it? Yes, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. But that's the 31st of December. That's New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's also New Year's Eve. It's in partnership with uh, Glodian Champion, in partnership with Black Leaders and Allies Collaborative and Juneteenth Coalition. Our mayor will be there, or in spirit, he'll be doing a video. And it's a seven, Kwanzaa is a seven day holiday that celebrates African American history, values, family, culture, and community. So it's really cool. Well, great. All right. Now, I see First Night Monterey. First first Night Monterey, together in Monterey. Right. And I'm showing you, we talked a little bit about it last week. That's a major event with 70 performances. But one thing is the Twilight Procession with this group called Flashpoint Entertainment. We should have them on the air. And is she showing the pictures, Rachel, of yes. the things they invent and just really cool um, LED light and feathered still walkers? Do you have that picture up? We yes. do. We yep. do. It's up so right that's now. The poster. Yeah, that's the poster. I can see that. But I also sent a couple of other pictures. So we'll have to get the Flashpoint people. They're very innovative. Do you have those pictures? Yes, they're coming up right now, Wendy. And interesting, uh, Dylan, our genius uh, director who's off tonight, and Rachel's here, he's figured out a way, Wendy, after our shows 
in 2024, we're not going to have a delay anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. That's easier. Do you yeah. see the girls in feathered hats? They're stilt walkers. That was a previous picture we saw that. That was the previous picture, yeah. 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 Okay, now the picture okay, that good. Rachel has on the screen now. Put that one back, Rachel. That one. It looks like it's down there uh, on the Canary Road Plaza. And what do you see, Nicole? Well, it looks like a golf cart that was made into a float of some sort. A golf cart that was made yeah, into a float. Alvarado. That's on Alvarado, and it's all yeah. LED lit. Yeah. And they're looking for participants. If you happen to have a float, you want to be in the procession. They're also looking for volunteers for First Night Monterey. And Ellen um, Martin, who coordinates it for many, many years, said this is the most joyous event if you volunteer for it because everybody's happy to be there. And there's 70 performances, and you can go in and get a cocktail if you want in any of the bars the right way. And it's just really fun, and they have a kids' night out from 3 to 9, and then this goes till midnight. And just so many choices and activities. It really is a phenomenal event. Have you been, Nicole? No, but, I, you know, I tell a lot of my clients that have kids or grandchildren coming for the holidays that it's a really great event to go to for yeah. families of all generations. Yeah. yeah, it's it's super. I haven't, but I've heard it's really fantastic because it started, I can't remember how long ago it started, Wendy. Um, 31 years, 31 yeah. years. Yeah, wow. so it's been a long time. All right, what else yeah. do we have on the screen? Yeah. Oh, here's Santa, and now, you know, we had Santa on the show tonight. Did you see that, Wendy? I did. That's a different Santa. This is Santa from Hollister. Oh. I think. Santa from Hollister. He's with the we we've been doing Christmas on the Wharf. We were on week three and on Friday night we had the DLI choir, which is the Defense Language Institute right. choir with members of the Army, Marine, Air Force, Navy. And they were so great and so Santa wanted to pose with the picture and you see that. Today, yeah, there they are. Isn't that nice? Yeah. They're all going home for Christmas. Oh, great. oh that's so nice. Okay, any more pictures there, Rachel? I hope so. Oh, that's the run in Pacific Grove, it looks like. The, the gym, run in Pacific Grove? Is that the one, Wendy? The jingle. U-Jam Fitness. U-Jam oh. Fitness. Okay, that's Brandy. So you, she was on KSBW last night. KSBW came over to the wharf yesterday, and I was always grateful for that. And she was doing, she's going to be a co-host in March, um, and she has moving her UJAM Fitness, which is personal fitness, and Nicole, you like that, um, mm -hmm. to Marina. Oh, fun. And there isn't as much out there, and I know that, I mean, I asked her, if she's going to be different than the, the Montage Health Club, which I was a member of for several years, but she's just amazing. She does personal fitness training and, with her husband, and so... I'm excited. They live in Marina. They're going to be in Marina. So I was told her I would mention it, and she's going to come back in March. Oh, fun. As a co-host. That's great. Good good yeah, way to promote her business. Yeah, it's a good way to promote her business. And anybody that gets our community feeling healthy and fit, uh, you know, you really got to give them a lot of credit for that. Yeah, she's she's beyond. There they are dancing. There was somebody in a wheelchair. And um, really cute men, women, old, young. It was great. So wow. they just are, you know, people stop and watch. It was great. And then today at 3, we were so lucky that the rain took a break and we had the gospel choir. And that's the Monterey Peninsula Gospel Choir, Community Gospel Choir with John Nash. Oh, and that's nice. phenomenal, too. Gary, I'll have to send you a video. We should get him on the air. Yeah. He's, he's so charismatic. Wow, you guys have so many wonderful guests that you guys can host. <laughs> we do. And what's great is Gary has looped every single show yep. in the mist, and you can watch them. And then you can go to the archives where your show will be, and you can say, hey, I want to meet Nicole. That's like, right. I want to meet, I want to introduce you to one of my clients, Nicole. Yes. Yeah. A uh, test of time. They do a lot of uh, construction in Carmel and the Golden Triangle. So I'm going what's to their, show what's them name? your video, and, and maybe when you get back, you could have. What's the name, uh, Wendy? What's the name? Of the contractor? You know, Test of Time. John Whitaker. John and Whitaker. And they've, they've worked on many homes in Pebble Beach on the ocean side and many homes in the Golden Triangle. Yeah, I've, I've heard of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've heard of them. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know them personally. Okay, uh, is that going to wind it up? Yeah, it is. So have a wonderful holiday. Nicole, have a fabulous You too, Wendy. And Gary, we'll be talking next week. We'll be talking, and uh, we'll be back. uh, Wendy, our first show of 2024 is what Sunday? Is it the 7th? Yes, yes. And I think I'm going to be – I have this favorite restaurant um, that – that Gary knows about. I think I'm going to try to go back with my friend who grew up in Homey Hills again um, to the Waldorf Astoria rooftop. Oh, nice. It's not raining. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Good, for Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Thanks, Wendy Brickman. It was a great 2023 for for Monterey on tonight. You did a fabulous job getting all of these wonderful people, my co hosts and my guests. I don't know what I do without you. I'd be doing it all myself, and I I would never be able to do as good a job as you have done, Wendy. You guys are a fabulous team. We're a team. You're a team. We're going to start calling ourselves Team. uh, Team. uh, What are we going to call ourselves, Wendy? Team Monterey on tonight. Team Morris. I don't know. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We'll figure it out. All right. Merry Christmas to you and Howard. God bless, and we'll see you next year, Wendy. Bye bye. All right, that's Wendy Brickman. And now we're going to go play uh, a one more Rod Stewart video. Oh, no, aren't we doing Mariah Carey? We're going to do Mariah after the Rod Stewart oh, video. okay, good. So, right, Rachel, we have the last Rod Stewart video for tonight? Yep. Okay, so we're going to play that. And then we're going to go get David Conley, who's our last guest of the good. night, mm-hmm. the fabulous David Conley. Fabulous. Fabulous. Day. He appears at the Sardine Factory, been there forever. you got to meet this guy. A fabulous musician. So let's go play the last Rod Stewart video, and then we're going to come back before we have Rachel play the songs of today. By Are we going to do that tonight, Rachel? I have some. You have some. Okay, we're going to play the artists of today. Good. And Rachel's picked out three artists for tonight because that's her brother's job because Dylan does that every week too. But Fine. now it's you're going to get to see Rachel do it. So here's our last Rod Stewart Christmas video. Go play it, Rachel. Uh, Ah, I like the doggy scene. I like the doggy scene, too. A most wonderful and happy Christmas to all. He couldn't have said it any better. No, Nat King Cole is. What a voice and what a great song. I mean, for years and years and years, the Christmas song by Nat King Cole. Well, Nicole, it's that time of night. But we throw it over to tonight. It's Rachel Holmes, and she's picked out some brand new videos from today because there's a lot of young artists today that Carrie has never even heard of. But Rachel and Day- and Dylan, they know who these new young artists are. I never knew who Madison Beer was until Dylan played her, and she's fabulous. There's a lot of new talent. A lot of new talent. So right now, it's time for Rachel Holmes and three of the current videos from 2023. So, Rachel, take it away. Thank you, Nicole, for being here tonight. It's been so much fun to have you. It's been like a Christmas party all night long. It has been a Christmas party. And we're going to have to have you back. Sure. So in 2024, you'll see Nicole Truskowski again (laughs) on this show, Realtor to the Stars right here on the Monterey Peninsula. And to say goodnight, we're going to do what David Letterman used to do. We're going to play Darlene Love. And I hope it doesn't get cut off because we switch back to the old shows at 9 o'clock. But anyway, let's say goodnight and Merry Christmas to all of you out there. Happy New Year. See you in 2024 right here on Monterey on Tonight. Happy holidays, everybody.